So Prigozhin has finally, formally, officially now been declared dead and this follows genetic examination of the bodies found at the crash site. Prigozhin was on a flight on his private business jet from Moscow to St. Petersburg on Wednesday when the plane came down about halfway across. All 10 on board including 3 crew were killed and including Prigozhin as aviation officials then said and as now standing confirmed. Nobody really was in doubt about this particularly after aviation officials had named Prigozhin as among those on board along with his right hand man and a key military commander Dmitry Utkin and such doubt as there may have been was really removed after President Putin went on state television speaking of Prigozhin in the past tense and he spoke of him as a talented person who had brought success but also made serious mistakes referring quite clearly to Prigozhin's aborted march on Moscow on June 23-24 and Putin could hardly have all uh, said all that for uh, Prigozhin to then miraculously be found alive. But a death is invariably pronounced formally after a body has been found and identified and that has now happened. Such uncertainty that did arise briefly followed reports of a second Prigozhin plane that had also taken off and landed uh, safely in St. Petersburg and that led to speculation with the Prigozhin who was known to take extraordinary uh, measures for uh, security may have been on that plane but that clearly was never the case. Uh, flight recorders have been recovered from the site along with the bodies and these could hold the vital clue to what may have caused the crash if there were to be a truly independent inquiry whose results were then fully shared. The American channel CBS quoted an unnamed US official as saying that an explosion on board was the probable cause of the crash and Kremlin spokesperson uh, Dmitry Peskov said that such suggestions are speculation and a complete lie. This now throws into doubt the future of Wagner itself. Russia's private army that uh, Prigozhin headed, it had a fighting force of nearly 25,000 that had succeeded in taking Bakhmut, the only success the Russians have had in this Ukraine war really and close to half of this force is now said to be in Belarus uh, with attempts to absorb the others into the Russian army. The extent of such recruitment or transfer is uncertain. We do not know who now may lead Wagner. Um, Prigozhin's number two did die in that crash and soon enough uh, there may not be a Wagner left to lead.